What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another episode of the F123 My Team Career Mode, episode number 12 today. We're off to the home Grand Prix of Formula One, one of the crown jewels on the calendar, the Silverstone Circuit. Uh, I'm pumped up. Who doesn't love a little bit of Silverstone? It's such a fun track to drive. And if you guys did not, did not watch the last episode at the Spanish Grand Prix, no, it wasn't Spain. It was Austria. Yeah, if you guys didn't watch the last episode of Austria, you need to check Austria, because my god. Spoiler alert incoming, but 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, boom. Uh, we finished fifth in the main event, and we finished second in the sprint. So, now, holy crap, I'm just realizing this. We are five points off at Fernando Alonso, and we are one point off Oscar Piastri. Once we get done this race, we'll be halfway through the season. Holy crap, man. We're looking good, you know. We're looking good. Uh, Max Verstappen got his third race win in a row in Austria. Technically fourth if you count the sprint. Yeah, man. Um, it was actually a competitive race. And, I mean, Austria was just chaos. It was literally just chaos from end to end. I mean, we would get the jump and then... I just don't think we had enough race pace to keep up with the Red Bulls, the Ferraris, the Mercedes, and Leclerc kept driving off in the gravel, that's why he finished in 11th, and the same thing happened to Norris and Fernando Alonso DNF, so it was like, crazy, crazy day in Austria, and God only knows what Silverstone's gonna present to me today, but yeah, we re-signed Ollie Behrman to the end of the season, so Ollie Behrman will be our driver for the rest of this season, so... Yeah, man. Uh, just got to get our head down, focus, get as much going as we can. Um, here's our R&D progress. We got a minor upgrade coming to aerodynamics and a massive major chassis upgrade coming in the works. Hopefully that'll be here by the Hungarian Grand Prix. What date is the Hungarian Grand Prix? It's not going to tell me, is it? Okay. But, okay. Before we get into Silverstone, you're probably noticing the cuts and stuff on my face. Uh, I had a boxing match two days ago. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't come out the victor. I was this close to getting a decision against a guy who had more knockouts than I had fights. And, uh, yeah, no, the kid was talented. He's fought in, like, multiple different continents. So, what more can I say? I gave it my all. And, uh, yeah, this rib right here still stings like a mother effer. But, um... Yeah, I'm just gonna try and push through. I, could, I couldn't drive my real car on Saturday night after the fight. Yesterday, me and my girlfriend went around for a bit, so yeah, no, I, I could drive it then, but yeah, now we're gonna try a race car in a simulator, so let's hope it works. Let's hit the Silverstone, see how we do, and hopefully my body holds up. Wait, what? Dude, was there a driver market shape up? Kevin Magnuson's at Williams? Logan Sargent's in a Haas? What? Dude, what happened when I wasn't looking? Jesus Christ. You join us in the United Kingdom today, or Great Britain, as it's alternatively known. Well, it's certainly a great day today, as we welcome you to one of the crown jewels of British sports, a track of speed, history, and drama. It's Silverstone. It's the British Grand Prix. With good opportunities to overtake at the end of the Wellington and Hangar Straits, there's a lot of potential for close action around the 3.6 miles of Silverstone circuit. With 18 corners and average lap speeds of around 145 miles per hour, it's also one of the longest and quickest circuits on the calendar. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race. World champion Max Verstappen starts from pole position, and it's Fernando Alonso alongside. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Oscar Piastri, Perez, Stroll, Russell, Norris, Gasly, Ocon, Leclerc, Sonoda, Bottas, Joe, Holkenberg, Hamilton, Albon, Ricardo, Sainz, Magnussen, Sparkles, Behrman, and Logan Sargent. 
And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. And alongside me today, a man small in stature, but big on comments, Anthony Davidson. Hello. As we all know, every single driver wants to know what's required of them. And in the case of this driver, I think things are pretty stable at the moment. That They're doing what the team require. I know what we've got to do before the start of today's race, but what about our driver? What do the final hours look like for them? Well, for them, you know, you've got your pre-race rituals that you go through. You see different drivers uh, that, you know, some have got their headphones on, they're listening to the music. Some drivers really absorb the energy from the crowd and they're there waving to them. Other drivers, they go within themselves. They chat to their engineers, absorbing that information, that vital information that you need to carry you through the race. And, you know, those pre-race rituals are essential to making things systematic. We do a lot of Grand Prix in a season, and the more systematic you can be, the easier you are within that environment. Well, alrighty then. Starting at the back here at Silverstone. Sucks, but what can we do? Um, yeah, it was pissing down rain in qualifying. I could barely find grip for the life of me. And I was still getting my feet used to this track, so what can you do? Uh, Verstappen leads us away, followed by Alonso, Piastri, uh, Perez, Stroll, Russell, Norris. Man, the two Alpines are in the top ten. What the hell? Sonoda's up there. With grid panels, you got Hamilton, Sainz back here. You got myself, an Ollie Behrman ahead of Logan Sargent, who's apparently now in a Haas. Uh, Kevin Magnussen's in a Williams now, too, so they did a driver swap. I mean... Logan Sargent driving for Hash just seems so right. It just seems so right, but the way the simulator here is predicting this, we're going to do nine laps on the soft, nine laps on the medium. That's the strategy my team have given me. Looks like everybody is doing that same strategy. Everyone starting on the soft, probably all going to medium. So, yeah, without for off. Oh. By the way, my rip felt fine during qualifying, by the way, so it should hold up fine during this race, but without further delay, let's get into the Silverstone Grand Prix. Damn, that car really wanted to turn there. to the high side. Come on. Ooh, there we go. That's how you make a few spots. Damn, who would have ever guessed I'd be side by side with Lewis Hamilton for 14? Now for the rest of the race. We banged tires there. I'm sorry about that, Lewis. I feel like I can push by him here. Crap, went wide. My apologies, Lewis. But P14 looks like what we're going to hold down from the start here. Looks like McClair and I think that's Valtteri Bottas are going at it up there. Pretty well used up all my DRS on this one straight. Ah, sent it too deep. We're faster than him. We will overtake him. But, man. Gotta stay sharp here. I'm a lot better through Magus and Beckett with this new braking, I'll say that much. But come on. See what I mean? Here's the spot. Job done. Now just gotta keep on the back of Hulkenberg so he doesn't. Jesus, why was that car hopping so much? Why was it black? There was a big lock up in there. I don't know who it was. 
but I don't get why my car was hopping so much there. I'm, I'm a little worried now. It says everything's all right. Whoa. Jeez, that sucks. Oh, come on, we can get in here. Jeez, I had to send it in there. But it worked. That's all that matters. It was smooth and it was clean. It worked. Now can I make a move on Buff Pass? Got past one Sauber about a lap ago. Now can I get past this one? Man, I love these flowing tracks. Ah, uh, not yet. I'll save my overtake for out of Maggots and Beckett's because I do think we will have him. Okay, come on. Where's our momentum? Around the outside. Crap, went a little too deep on the braking. You might complain on the radio, but job done. P11. Come on, man. Keep this okay, car under you. Lance Stroll up next. Seconds. Come on. Man, well, we haven't caught up to Stroll at all. But we Still pulling away from Bottas, but bad news is Hamilton's got by him, so I'm just kind of left out to, di to die in no man's land, really. Come on, car. Ugh. Yeah, Hamilton's gonna catch me in no time. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Caution. Problems on the racetrack. And it's for Lance Stroll. Lance okay, Stroll clear. looks to be out of the British Grand Prix. So that puts us in 10th. I like that better than what we were. Come on, Carl, stop going wide. So here's what happened to Lance Stroll. Just slows up through that section of maggots and beckets. Yeah, must have been a mechanical failure. That's two Aston Martin mechanical failures. Last week it was to Fernando Alonso, and this this time it's to Lance Stroll. But the Aston has blown up, and he is out of the British Grand Prix. I almost called it the Canadian Grand Prix. All right, King Louis, what you gonna do? What you gonna do, Louis? You gonna take the outside? All right, well, Louis has passed me. Science is yet to come up on me, too. Fernando Alonso's in the pits as well. That's interesting. So it's just Alonso in. That's intriguing. Come on, keep up on the back of Lewis, bro. I know these stops are dying, but like, let's try to keep up on the back of Hamilton. All right, here we go. Boxing this time by Lewis as well. Sort of. Okay. There's a caution on the track. Did the Salvers wreck? That's what looks like what happened is one of the Salvers crashed. Huh. Okay then. Box box. Someone's got a 10 second penalty. I thought that was me for a second. Right, let's go. Come on. Perfect All right, job in and out, in and out, fellas. Come mate. on, chop, chop. Chopper, chopper, chopper. Alright, we're gonna have to catch up to Lewis. 
Okay, stay clear of the white line on the exit. We'll receive a penalty for dangerous driving if you cross onto the track. And now we have a caution in sector one. Tonight. I did not cross the white line. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, so here's what happened between the two Saubers. This intrigues the hell out. Are they stupid? Are oh my, the one on the inside was trying to pit, and the one on the outside was trying to stay on track. Oh my god. That might be one of the dumbest things I've ever seen. Jesus Christ. Well, I can't say I expected to be ahead of Carlos Sainz today, but not in these circumstances. I mean, good news is we know he's in a Ferrari and we know he's quick, so maybe we can get his toe and pull up to Hamilton. I'm not going to use any overtake or anything. I'm just going to stick behind. Now, maybe I'll have to use a little bit here because he's going to pull away. But there we go. I'm just gonna use my DRS and sit behind Carlos Sainz because I feel like he could pull us back up to Hamilton and Hamilton might even pull us back up to some of the leaders. We will see. Jesus Christ. What kind of bumps are at Silverstone, bro? I mean, oh crap. Starting to lose, Carlos, but I mean, with shitty corners like that, you can understand why. Oh man, come on, get me back to him. Yeah, it's up to two seconds now, we're not catching Carlos. And, and other great news, we're low on fuel. We're 0 0.04 under. Well, 0 0.04 in the red, I should say. So that's fantastic. So now, what we're praying for is a couple of these guys ahead of us send it into the gravel. We hold off Hulkenberg, steal some points, and yeah, we might come out with a half decent result, but. An Aston Martin's in the lead, I see. So that would be Fernando Alonso, because even if Lance Stroll was in the race, Lance Stroll would not be leading the race. But how Piastri, or I think that's Piastri and Alonso okay, up there. The, car in front. Two, the two five, Alpine seconds. Demise cars are up there leading the show. How that happened, I don't know, but hey, good for them, I suppose. Man, I'm just realizing how bad it would be for us if Alonso won this race. Just points-wise and everything? Crap. Ugh, come on, car. We're not catching Carlos anyway, it doesn't matter. But man, that would be rough for us if Alonso won this race, so... I love Fernando, but I really want to beat Aston Martin Instructors and drivers standing, so. I guess we just give it our best, see where we end up, man. Maybe God's work will play into our favor at the end of the year, even if Fernando gets the win. Well, the McLaren's taking the lead, so. I guess we don't have to worry about. Well, I guess we do still have to worry, because he's right on their friggin'. Alonzo, yeah, Alonzo's re-overtaken Norris, so, it's gonna be a dramatic end of this race, man, I keep doing stupid things with this car, which is bringing Hulkenberg back into this fight. Okay, he might have just locked it up there, because we gained now. a bunch of time on him there. I don't know, but, okay, two laps to go. Ahead. 0 0.15 under. Stop downshifting in that corner. Jesus. 
Stop bringing Hulkenberg back in this fight, man. Come on. All right, one more. Okay, Hulkenberg's definitely locked up back in one of those early sections because he's now. I got. I gained a second on him somehow, some way. Yeah, something happened to Hulkenberg. Oh, come on, dude. Just bring it home. Man, I'm right intrigued to see who the lead, who's gonna win this race now. Oh, I think Alonso just re-overtook Norris. Oh, snap. And gap to the car in front. Oh, what Eight, happened to Esteban Ocon? Did he lock up? Must have. So Lewis is gonna end up with more points. If only I was in position. Norris won! Holy crap, dude, I gotta go back and watch this last lap. This car's kicked into low fuel mode. There we go. We'll bring it home P12. Not bad. All right, race Considering over. our starting take position, that's away. not that bad. I'll take some points. Well, I, I'm not taking any points because I didn't finish in a points position, but Lando Norris wins the British Grand Prix. Beats out Fernando well, Alonso waiting job, for number say, 33. Wow. What a race. What's a race. Oh, dude. A great team victory. Oh, that race didn't hurt my ribs. It's just the thing soared. Home soil, but the drivers delivered. The, the team home driver well. wins the Do British Grand Prix. McLaren win at really Silverstone. Oh, baby, you gotta love that for him. You gotta love look that, at that for him. They're making their way out onto There's the one now. happy camper. Great race from the Lando McLaren Norris team. is I'm your winner happy to here in there, Silverstone. Top step of the podium. Yeah, he's he's loving that one. He is loving that one. I mean, I would too. If I won the Canadian Grand Prix, I'd be over the moon. I finished second in my home Grand Prix. Considering the piece of junk I'm driving, I think that's a pretty good accomplishment. But Norris wins. Max Verstappen in second. Fernando Alonso in third. Or sorry, wait. No, Alonso finished second. Verstappen finished third. Crazy. Well then, uh, Lando Norris finished, started 7th, wins the British Grand Prix, followed by Fernando Alonso, Max Verstappen, Charles Leclerc, Sergio Perez, George Russell, Oscar Piastri, Pierre Gasly, Lewis, ha or, uh, Ocon got back by Hamilton? Wow, okay. Uh, Hamilton, Sainz, myself, Hulkenberg, Alvin, Magnussen, Ricardo, Sonoda, Sargent with his debut in Haas. Uh, Magnussen pulled off a P15, good for him. All oh my goodness! Ollie Behrman beat another car! What? On track, he beat a car! No way! <laughs> I mean, it was a wrecked Valtteri Bottas. I still gotta go back in the replay and look up what happened to the Saubers, but... Stroll was out. Uh, let's take a look at the standings, man. Yeah, Verstappen leads the championship almost 100 points. If Ferrari pull off the comeback, I'd be amazed because they seem to be falling off. But they lead the constructors by 63. Science is down by 102. Yeah, that's going to help Norris out a lot. That helps Alonso out a lot, too. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Man, I'm carrying Dagley Motorsports on my back. But, man, lo it looks like we're going to have to settle with the sixth place constructors unless we can massively upgrade this car, which is probably not going to happen in case regulation changes are coming. So, got to stay prepared, but we'll s we stay P12, well, we finish P12 and we stay P9 in the standing. So, nothing wrong with that, I suppose. Ah, my favorite track next time out. God, I can't even begin to describe how much I hate this place. Oh, Lord, the Hungarian Grand Prix, the Hungara Ring next time out. I usually drive this track one time a season, and that's because it's always in season one. 
pretty well every other time the Hungara ring is like the first track I get rid of. Right? Me and this track have never blended well together to say the least, but yeah, got a good run of tracks coming up afterwards. I mean, Belgium, Netherlands, it Italy, Baku, and that's weird to have that point of the season. And Singapore, Coda, Mexico, Brazil, Vegas, Qatar, and Abu Dhabi to end off the season. Oh boy. Well, if you guys enjoyed today's episode at the British Grand Prix, make sure you like this video. Actually, I want to check out something real quick. Where's the driver market? I still can't believe that this happened. Logan Sargent's with friggin' Haas. Friggin' how the hell does Ollie Behrman almost have a higher acclaim than Logan Sargent? And friggin' uh, where is he? Where's Magnuson at? I can't seem to find the guy. Not down there. Where's where's Magnuson? Dude, I legitimately don't see him. Where is Magnuson? There's no way he's up there in the claim. Magnuson. Kevin. Dude, where is he? Where is he? I legitimately do not see Kevin Magnuson. Okay. Bear with me here. Where am I being an idiot? Am I being like a legitimate idiot? I do not see Kevin Magnuson for the life of me. There's Alvin. But dude, where is Magnuson? What's going on? Is he retiring at the end of the season? We can't offer him a contract? Like, oh my god. I'm, I've given up on that. But anyways, guys, hope you liked this video. Comment where you think we'll finish at the Angara ring. Share this video with a friend and subscribe and notifications turn on so you never miss a future F124 upload. And next time out, guys, I'll see you at the Angara ring for the Hungarian Grand Prix. Take care and peace.